Alright, this is definitely the heaviest special edition 4K Blu-ray I've ever received, but with all that said, ho ho ho, how are you guys doing today? It's been a while since we've done a Blu-ray video collection update. I forgot what I call these. We'll just call it, this is really heavy, brand new 4K Blu-rays, and with all that said, how are you guys doing? Merry Christmas, and I'm going to set these down now. Like I said, it's been a while since I've made one of these videos. This is how I started YouTube, and this is typically my favorite type of video to make. I get to talk about multiple movies on 4K, optical discs, physical media. Yeah, with all that said, let's just talk about some movies. Sweep the leg. Yes, Sensei. Uh, with all that said, this is the brand new Karate Kid 4K trilogy that just came out. It comes with the little paper sleeve that sits on top. These are nice sometimes, but then what do you do? You put it on the shelf like that? No, thank you. I just, I can't look at that floppy piece of paper on there. That right there is how I want it. Bold and beautiful. This has a, an, another 4K release that's already been out, but I've heard they actually did a new transfer of it for this, this release, and they actually improved upon the, some of the HDR and the color palette. So I'm excited to check this out. So yeah, if you haven't already bought this on 4K, now is definitely the time. If you already own it on 4K, well, do a double dip and buy it again because it looks slightly better. And then of course you have the second movie. I never really loved the second movie. I, I, I've seen it a handful of times, but I've never really had the urge to go back and revisit it over and over again. And then the third movie, the third movie is something I discovered later on in the 1990s. I didn't know it existed. I didn't know there was a third Karate Kid movie and many of my friends didn't either. And it almost feels like this movie had a budget of $14 and a pack of bubble gum when you watch it. Wax on, wax off. All right, so this is amazing. I wish more studios would put out box sets like this. This is exactly the way box sets, 4K movies should look, should be presented. And I can't wait to put this on my shelf. And by the way, guys, I did move offices, so I haven't really set up everything just quite yet. So eventually I will have movies back there on those shelves and I will make videos in that chair. But... Not today. Next up is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles with my favorite odd couple of Steve Martin and John Candy on a road trip together where they just hate each other, then they become good friends. And I love movies like this. This is my go-to every Thanksgiving. I just recently watched it. And this is the brand new Steelbook Blu-ray that came out. Now, I already own two other versions of this movie. So since it's Christmas time and I'm Santa Flick today, I'm going to give this away to one lucky person down in the comments section. And very quickly, before I do that, I'm going to give a quick mention to the sponsor of this video because... Energy drinks and movies cost money, so I'll be right back. Big thanks to Private Internet Access for sponsoring this video. That way we don't have to make videos in a dumpster behind the movie theater. They're a leading VPN provider with over 30 million downloads all around the world. The term VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and if you're not a tech wizard, don't feel bad. I just learned what one of these were like five years ago. With private internet access, all of your internet traffic goes through a secure VPN tunnel. Your IP address is hidden and your data is encrypted. Private internet access is available for all platforms from Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and many others. And you can use one subscription to protect up to 10 devices at the same time. And if you're like me and you like movies or TV shows, you can unblock all the content from streaming services like Amazon Prime, Netflix, and many others by bypassing the geo restrictions with private internet access. And here's just one Quick example, the UK version of Netflix has different content, TV shows and movies, than the US version. So don't let someone tell you what you can and can't do, not today! It also blocks ads, trackers and malware. Private internet access has over 10,000 servers in over 70 countries. And right now you can get 3 years plus 4 months free for only $1.98 per month, that's 83% off, with a 30 day money back guarantee. The internet's a scary place, you should know that by looking at my face right now, but either way, protect your data, watch the content you want to watch, and check out the link down below. As always guys, thanks for watching, let's get back to the video. And now, our feature presentation. Alrighty, so some lucky someone can win this still book, and all you have to do to be entered in is leave a comment down below and give the video a like. And that's enough. And I'll send you a message, just make sure you respond to it within the next, like, five days? And I'll make sure to announce the winner on my next weekly live show, which is on my second channel, John Flickinger. Did you know I have a second channel where I do weekly live shows talking about movies for two hours? Yeah, it's a good time. So I'll announce the winner of this on the next one. This is it, don't get scared now. Next up is Home Alone on 4K, and I've been meaning to buy this for a very long time, and on my previous flip trip video, which I shot for 2021 Black Friday, just a few weeks ago, which by the way, once again, is on my second channel. Go watch my second channel. I'm gonna bite off every single one of these fingers, one at a time. Joe Pesci was going to bite off Kevin McAllister's fingers. That's cannibalism. 
That's crazy. That happened in this movie. And everyone just pretends like it didn't. Anyway, uh, once again, one of my favorite holiday movies of all time. I actually just recently watched this yesterday, and then I watched Home Alone 2 right before shooting this video. Which, by the way, Home Alone 2 is not out on 4K yet, which really upsets me deeply. Because I can guarantee you one thing in life. There's probably nothing more disgusting than looking at the pigeon lady covered in bird shit on 4K. <laughs> hey, hey, butthead. <laughs> okay, terrible Beavis impression. But either way, next up is Beavis and Butthead to America. This just came out. This is the 25th anniversary edition. Clearly, I have not watched it yet. It's still in the cellophane. Now, I remember back in the late 90s when this came out. This was like the coolest movie to watch during the summer. All my friends would gather around, watch it on VHS tape late at night when we slept over at each other's houses and played video games like Zombies Ain't My Neighbors. And this was the go-to movie to watch. Um, so, yeah, like I said, this just came out. I always really enjoyed this movie. Uh, as far as the show goes, I went back and rewatched some of the previous episodes. I forgot how funny the principal was in the show. <laughs> you little bastards! <laughs> okay. Next up, we're talking about one of my favorite action movies, if not my favorite action movie of all time, and I will stand by that. That is a hill I will die on for the rest of my life. It's T2 Judgment Day on Steelbook 4K. Now, with all of that said... Let's take a moment and get real. A few years back, T2 hit 4K Blu-ray. Once again, one of my favorite movies of all time, coming to 4K. I was so excited. But with all that said, that transfer is dog shit. Yeah, the 4K version of T2 is just really underwhelming. It looks desaturated and lifeless. James Cameron went a little too crazy with trying to make it look like a modern day movie where they removed all of the film grain and too much so to where everyone looks plasticky and flat. And they even added more blue filters to the movie, which already had tons of blue filters. They had more of that, suck at all the colors so it looks desaturated and just, it's almost drabby and tiresome to look at, and I hate it. And unfortunately, as cool as this still book is, the disc inside is still the same transfer. But with all that said, I love the way this still book looks. I love the cover. And one of my favorite things about this is this is the Best Buy uh, exclusive. And I love what they're doing with still books now is they're putting really cool plastic protective artwork on the outside to where it's still really cool looking. Like that's still a nice piece of art that protects the still book. And that still book is awesome as well. So it's an endoskeleton. And look at that. Look at the T-800 in the back looking like a badass. Next up is Cop Shop. I have not watched this yet. I've heard very mixed reviews. Some people who like it say it's kind of a throwback to the 1990s action movie genre. And that's cool by me. If this just is a mediocre action movie that's at least enjoyable, slightly entertaining to watch, fine by me. Now, it stars Gerard Butler. And typically nowadays, whenever Gerard Butler is in a movie, it's like, yeah, it's going to be definitely a hit or a miss. And more times, if not, it's a miss. Now, I like Gerard Butler, and it also has Frank Grillo, who I also enjoy. Uh, so I'll check this out on a rainy day. I just have not got around to it yet. But yeah, if you liked Cop Shop, let me know down below. Okay, I saved the biggest one for last. And as one Pixar character once said, the big one. No Time to Die, the special edition. Look at this. Just look. This, this might be the sexiest 4K release ever. I just described an optical disc as sexy. So with all of that said, let's just dive into this. All right. So when it comes to No Time to Die, overall, I really did enjoy the movie. I thought there were some very abrupt things thrown into the movie. There were some sequences that just felt like almost reshots tacked into the movie. It's almost like when you're playing a, a, a campaign in a video game and you do like a side mission randomly that doesn't really relate to the main story. It felt like there was some sequences in the movie like that. Uh, so I'll tell you why I'm most excited to watch this on 4K on my OLED LG TV in my living room. It's because when I went to the theater to watch this movie, it was one of the worst theater presentations of any film I've ever seen. It was a very dimly lit screen. The bulb was dying. It was flickering. It was just terrible. I almost wanted to stop watching it and get a refund, but I had to see the movie. It had been way too long. I've waited two years since this movie is originally was supposed to come out and it kept being delayed, but let me just shut up and open this now. Oh, oh, look, it smells like James Bond, shaken, not stirred, look at, okay, there's the, uh, the 4K package, okay, look, I mean, even the packaging is, like, foam covered and sealed, it just, oh, there's a booklet, okay, we'll check that out in a few seconds, okay, so right there you have the Aston Martin, which, oh, man, what a cool car, I've always wanted flamethrowers on my car or like an ejection seat. Now my enemies share my dread. Okay, I'm going to use my battering to open this bad boy up. Very, 
open it up very precision like. Okay, I'm sweating now. Um, okay, it comes with some screws, but here's the Aston Martin. Look at that. Look at that vehicle. Oh my God. It's heavy too. There's actually some weight to it. It's very detailed. The, the wheels are actually rubber. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That is cool. That is one of the coolest 4K releases ever. So yeah, you put the screws in it and you can put it on the base like that. So it'll set right there. And that is definitely gonna go on a shelf somewhere in my apartment. I can promise you that. Okay, the No Time to Die limited edition, uh, 4K. Now this is 651 of 700 with the authenticity card right there. It also comes with some card art. And uh, of course you have the, uh, the optical disc, the 4K. Now I've heard the transfer of this is just exactly the way a modern day action spectacular looking wide scope of a film should look and this is the type of movie i love to watch at home on my my tv it just when it lights up every pixel it's shot so well and 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 meticulously and it just this is the it just i can't wait to rewatch this at home like i said my theater experience of watching this movie was atrocious to say the least it's one of the reasons i i almost hate going to the movie theater nowadays i like the concept of the movie theater it's just sometimes the presentation it's such a letdown. It's like I should have just stayed home and watched that. It would have been more enjoyable. And when I have to go pee, I can pause the movie or my popcorn that I make at home doesn't cost seventeen ninety five a bucket. But yeah, here's the uh, the disc here. Now this is from MGM, who was actually bought out by Amazon. Uh, and I'm glad they're putting out physical media still. This is a good sign. And with everything I, I've already mentioned in this video, with this awesome edition of No Time to Die and the, the T2 Steelbook and the Karate Kid trilogy on 4K, these are all great things because physical media is still relevant. Studios are still putting effort into these releases. And I love that because it's not dying anytime soon. And whenever someone says, John, just watch it on streaming. Okay, you go watch that compressed low bitrate garbage. You can go watch that. When I want the true cinematic experience at my house, I'll watch the optical disc because this is the best way to visually watch it with the best audio, best picture quality, and the highest bitrate. Ah, okay, I went off on a weird rant there, but it's been a while since I've gotten to talk about physical media. And with all of that said, guys, let me know your thoughts, your opinions down below in some of these movies. Uh, are you guys picking up the No Time to Die special limited edition? I highly recommend it if you are planning to. I don't think I've seen a better release ever maybe or at least not for a very long time that i can think of i mean the, the other cool release i've ever seen was that endoskeleton of the the t2 on uh, blu-ray but that was like 10 years ago and that's back there as always guys thanks so much for watching sticking around and by the way like i said make sure you comment and give the video a like for a chance to win planes trains and automobiles and yes i will be seeing spider-man no way home tomorrow i will have a review of the movie so as always take care thanks for watching Make sure you subscribe, that way I can see you next time.